Hi everyone, this is Mo Volans back for Audio Tuts with a quick tip on how to sample system audio or more specifically how to sample audio from a specific application in OS X using a program called Audio Hijack Pro. Now Audio Hijack Pro is something that I've used for quite a while and um, I've really enjoyed using it. It's been pr pretty much an integral part of my workflow um, in audio. I needed a really bulletproof solution for capturing audio from pretty much anywhere in my system and shooting it to anywhere else. Um, it does a lot more than I'm going to show show you uh, what we're going to do today, but um, this is really sort of the most basic use of it, really. Um, I'm actually using two, two instances of it at the minute. I didn't know this was possible until today, but I'm using it to capture my voice to put into ScreenFlow, uh, which is actually going through a load of effects. Um, quite uh, interestingly it's going through isotope nectar and a deessa and that just means I don't have to process my voice once it hits a different application so there's another example of how to use this application um, but this instance of it is going to be doing what we're talking about here um, and it's got a hijack button which means you can sort of instantly hijack any audio from anywhere and hear it and monitor it um, but you can hijack your entire system audio uh, but in this case we're going to target in on a specific application so you can you know target in on everything running on your computer you can target in on any specific program um, and these are also things that you've used recently but it'll pretty much record anything you like uh, then we've got a format and you can put it onto the, one of these presets here in fact let's say we're going to use it for cd uh, we can say right that's 16 bit stereo so that's one of the presets uh, but if you want to do custom you know you can choose your format uh, you can choose 24-bit, for example, if you're going to use it in your DAW. Uh, we'll do that in this 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 instance. And I'm going to hijack the audio from Safari. Uh, hit hijack. And in the background here, in fact, just before I do that, I'm going to show you that you can tell it where to go. We're just going to put it onto the desktop. And you can give it sort of some tags or how you're going to name it and run it through effects as well, if you like. But we're just going to run it dry for this quick tip. Now, I've got an open source movie here in... Uh, in YouTube, uh, it's just 720 movie. And let's say that you had a movie, uh, not that I'm condoning ripping audio from unlicensed some movies you haven't got the right to, of course, but uh, let's say you did have some movie, some video or something running on your system that you know you couldn't download or you couldn't um, you couldn't sample in any other way, um, or even you know you just want to quickly play it and record it. This is a great way of doing it. So let's play back the audio. And now we go back to Audio Hijack Pro and you'll see that it's coming in. So let's say we want to sample this section. Okay, that'll do. We'll we'll just get that phone ringing. You're not paying attention. So we'll stop it recording now. We'll stop the the playback. And we've now got this file and I'm going to open it in Soundtrack Pro. Um here we go. And you'll see that, just scan my audio units, we've got exactly the the same audio as we, we were listening to, but we can normalise it and we can now drop this into Logic or something. So it's a great way just to grab samples from stuff in your system. Um, and I find that's probably the fastest way to do it. Of course, you can drop it into an audio editor, strip the audio from the video, etc., etc., find the right bit. But, you know, you don't lose any quality in this way. It's all completely in the box, completely digital. Choose your format, choose your resolution, and you're good to go. Hopefully this is helpful to some of you. Go over to Rogue Amoeba's site, check out. I think there's some demos of the software, but it's Audio Hijack Pro you want. Um, they've also got similar apps with similar technology, uh, so it's well worth checking out. Um, good luck with it. Cheers.